Well, basically, this is where it all kind of started for me when I got to uh, get some exposure to uh, actually getting out on the runways here at the at the at the base. Um, I was driving around out here, headed towards uh, one of the hangars over there to to, to check out what the uh, heritage group was doing, and got somewhere out here, maybe even a little lost. I'm not really sure, and and stopped because I was kind of intrigued by these vistas that I I kept seeing. Uh, looking up and down, looking up and down the runway. So I stopped and, and took some pictures, and uh, not really knowing what I was going to do with them, of course. But uh, it's it's a pretty amazing sight when you get out in the middle of it and, and see how much open space there really is here. You can see like a lot of the the white stripes going off into the distance. I mean, these are the things that I thought thought were really interesting about being out here is is these long panoramic perspectives that you get and this is you know it's pretty special to be standing in the middle of South Orange County and not be completely surrounded and and uh, filled in with with homes and businesses and shopping malls and things yeah this is one of the big X's on the runway and of course all these tire marks and everything were things that I used in quite a few of my paintings areas out here, I mean, when you look up and down all these major runways and, and really get a sense of the distance and the, and the, uh, the vistas here, it's, it's a pretty engaging place and, you know, not really knowing for sure, you know, how things are going to end up, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty great to be out here um, while it's in this condition. So when Henry Korn uh, got, asked me if I wanted to, uh, to uh, exhibit these paintings in their inaugural exhibition out of the, uh, out of the Great Park Art Center, of course I was, I was very interested in doing that. Uh, <clears throat> and he was, he was talking about uh, wanting to maybe tie in or figure out a way to connect um, the history of plein air painting in Southern California and especially South Orange County and Laguna Beach. Uh, to this show since this was sort of a, an addition to or a continuation of, uh, of uh, that history uh, and certainly the location of the base put it, put it in, in that environment. So um, we were sort of toying around with uh, titles and how could, we, uh, how could we connect through the title, you know, a meaning, something meaningful in terms of the base itself being a military installation and this plein air history uh, in, in South Orange County. And so uh, we, we sort of used the, the plein air uh, uh, verbiage and came up with this sort of play off of that, which is plein air power, uh, which, is, which is kind of funny, but, it's, but it makes a lot of sense because it, because it sort of uh, does all the things that we wanted it to do in terms of uh, anybody who understands the, the plein air history of Orange County uh, would certainly see see the connection there in, a, in sort of a playful way and I think it was I think it was appropriate for the show and, and certainly uh, uh, pays some homage to the to the uh, marine base air station there and uh, and also to the uh, history of plein air paintings. So once the base closed, obviously it went through a uh, went through a, a period of time where really nothing was going on out there. Uh, the military had cleared out and taken, you know, whatever they deemed important to them, and sort of left the shells of the buildings and the offices and and the, the whole base just sort of left to devolve however it was going to environmentally and in and, and every way else. The environment and nature were sort of reclaiming the base uh, and it was evident uh, when I was you know going through the process of uh, getting reference material for these paintings to see you know the 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 growth of you know, the weeds, the the runways are kind of cracking and in disarray, and and this sort of 
a reclamation by nature of this man-made installation. And I, and I think that part was sort of interesting to me because I think we all tend to, you know, wonder sometimes, like, you know, if, if, if human beings don't exist on the planet at some point in the future, you know, what's going to happen to all this stuff that we've, we've created on the surface, you know, and, it, and I think it's pretty apparent that, you know, uh, nature at the end of the day, you know, will, will rule the day, and that was sort of part of what was going on here. Some of my early exposure to even being aware that there was a military installation in South Orange County was back in the, uh, when I first moved here in 69 with my family. Um, I used to, uh, you know, of course hear the jets flying around and sort of wondering, you know, where they were coming from and, and real, you know, obviously being uh, told and realizing that there was a, uh, an active uh, a marine air station fighter base here in South Orange County so of course they would have their annual air shows out there and you could go out and see the different jets and you know I've always been a little bit of a history buff and one of the things that interests me about aircraft in general but also military aircraft is just some of the shapes and uh, design and, and fabrication of these of these machines they're, they're pretty amazing when you get up close and actually be able to look at the scale and, and look at the shapes of, of uh, you know, the, the fuselage and the wing shapes and everything. To me, they're very akin to pieces of sculpture. So this is a, my Louis Vuitton version of an F-18, which uh, I think they flew out of the base quite a bit. It's uh, made out of uh, sheet metal, fabricated sheet metal, and uh, and I pre-paint it all um, using a little stencil you can see over there on the wall that I made. I thought it was just sort of funny to uh, take a, uh, a luxury brand that uh, everybody's very familiar with um, and deems to be quite precious and turn it into something that uh, was a, in sort of diametrically opposed to what it's really was made for. It's been a fun piece to make. I, I hope people can see some humor in it because I'm, I, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to be all serious about this stuff. The show's given me an opportunity to get back to doing some sculpture, which I, I, I miss doing and haven't done a lot of over the, over the years. So looking forward to doing some more.